A Midsummer Night's Dream is an audience favorite, and in 2021, it will be the fifth time that that play will be performed on the Hill. I still remember the thrill of doing Midsummer and playing the role of Bottom in the 2003 production. In the following monologue, Helena is contemplating unrequited love and is wondering why Demetrius doesn't find her as beautiful as Hermia. How happy some or other some can be. Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all, but he do know. And as he errs, doting on Hermia's eyne, so I, admiring of his qualities, things base and vile holding no quantity, love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. And therefore is winged Cupid painted blind, nor hath love's mind of any judgment haste, wings and no eyes, figure unheedy haste. And therefore is love said to be a child, because in choice he is so oft beguiled, as waggish boys and gain themselves forswear. So the boy love is perturbed everywhere. Where Demetrius looked on Hermia's eyne, he hailed down oaths that he was only mine. And when this hail some heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved, and showers of oaths did melt. I will go tell him of fair Hermia's flight. Then to the wood will he tomorrow night pursue her, and for this intelligence I have given thanks. It is a dear expense, but here in me I to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again.